never floods. Okay. How are your kids doing? Are you, are you ready to school for the holidays? You got to go back to school next week? Wow, that sucks. <laughs> we got any school teachers on the boat? Anybody a school teacher? We have 100 paid school teacher on board. There you go. We got any uh, engineers on board? 100 paid is there too. And uh, before we go any further, we do have one very special guest on board. We got a graduate from Lockwood Air Force Base. Raise your hand, Emma. Congratulations to you and your family. So this is La Vita. We got uh, something going on at the base of La Vita called the Arneson River Theater. We're just going to drive right through here and see what's going on. Architecture and on the top two towers, you've got 20 gargoyles. Mm -hmm. 
They surround the top two towers, they fire the drain system, and they function like water spouts. You can see a couple of them up with the skyline up there. What happens is when the rainwater cascades down on the roof, it ends up shooting out the mouths of the gargoyles before it filtering down to the drain system all the way to street level. The building was designed by a father and son team, Abby and Robert Ayers. They opened the building on June the 1st of 1929 as the Smith Young Tower. Then the original builders had a bunch of faces carved all along the side of the building. Look where I'm pointing at under the second floor windows beneath the trim. Those spaces are called grotesque. And they're, they're there to the builders to ward off evil spirits. You see the faces right there. Some of them look like my in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them look like my in-laws. Wayne's friend has a river where I first wanted to worship you. Let me give you a little bit of background. Straight ahead about a block in front of this is going to be the North Channel. If we went in there, we took a ride up the channel not too far away. That's where the river's going to start, right? San Antonio River is spring fed from a huge underground limestone lake called the Edwards Underground Aquifer. It swelled up so bad in 1921 it created a huge flood here in downtown San Antonio. A lot of people drowned it, so the city brought in the engineers who came out here and capped off the horseshoe floodgates, and they straightened out the North Channel in front of us. See, right here it's a couple of feet deep, but the engineers eventually they had to stick it down 25 feet deep in front of us, so the floodwaters could just bypass the horseshoe and continue south on down the San Antonio River. Even though the river is under 38 miles long, the boats only travel on the river off because that's the only part that's elevated. Look off to the left, you see that brown puppy right there? Look over here, she's that brown puppy. That's a Texas Chihuahua right there. <laughs> <laughs> we took a ride at the town not too far. We're running the Hugman Dam over the Tropicana Hotel, but to show you what I'm talking about, look over here, we are down the town about 200 yards. Uh, you see that second bridge as far south as the boats can go. I'll get you a second look. That's floodgate five. It extends across the width of the channel. When we have to make the floodgate, it'll go down like a drawbridge 25 feet, and it'll bleed all the floodwaters past the horseshoe and take everything south on down the river. If we drop the gate down right now, what would happen? It would just drain the horseshoe we just came out of because inside there it's a couple feet deep. We are in the town for about four blocks. It's between 15 and 25 feet. See the earth right here, these three short blocks we found into in front of us, they used to be a solid piece of earth all the way up the street level. And that's why it flooded so bad in 1921. Up on top of where the market has used to sit, this is where we used to come by our produce. But after the flood, the engineers went in, we straight down the town to control the flood part of the food. That's why I got it done there.
the front one. She sat in by the second row of windows. On the building over here on the left hand side. Thirty feet deep that front one. They sat there, right? Filled with snakes and sewage and all kinds of bad stuff. Fifty-one people drowned in that front. Twenty-seven people. We never even found a few. And we don't even know what happened to them. It just changed everything in downtown San Francisco. But out there. Five 